is Tony, and this is Tony's Good Feet Story. I did know that back pain, foot pain come along with the job. Before my arch supports, I felt defeated. But since getting the arch supports from the Good Feet store, I'm more positive. Clinically proven. Significant pain relief in only four weeks. It's like opening up a whole new life, like sunshine coming on. I would recommend it to anyone. Take back the life you love and book your personalized arch support fitting today. They say that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Well, they are correct. Choose a delicious bagel for breakfast and order any size premium rose coffee for just $1.69 all day. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. From CBS News Bay Area, this is the Morning Edition. After major delays in the East Bay, BART service is expected to be back on track this morning. We'll get you up to speed on what happened and what you need to know as you start your day. We have to do better as a city, Oakland. We have to do better. A string of violence this weekend in Oakland has neighbors speaking up. But the big question, the city leaders have solutions. Plus, two astronauts stuck in outer space for what's now been over two months. The timeline for their long overdue homecoming. Taking a live look outside, it's a beautiful day. I mean, it's a beautiful start to our day. A little bit of cloud coverage out there, staying cool and comfortable, but not for long. A big heat up is on the way. I'll break down the details coming up in just a bit. Good morning, and thanks for starting your day with us. Today is Saturday, August 24th. I'm Max Dero. We begin in Oakland this morning, where neighbors and city leaders are looking for next steps after a string of violence this week. It's been an especially violent week in the city of Oakland. Four incidents leading to deaths, families losing loved ones in just the past seven days. The most recent incident happening on Thursday night outside of Harry's Liquor Store, located at 90th and MacArthur. There was another deadly shooting on Ney Avenue, a few blocks from King Estate Park as well. Several people were shot there, and one of those people died. And then on Monday, a 17-year-old girl was killed in a hit-and-run on International Boulevard. People who apparently witnessed this happened stayed on scene and held the alleged driver there until police arrived. The violence this week drove neighbors to take action and speak up. Oakland city leaders last night hosted the first of what will be five town halls planned over the next week. The goal is to let the public have their voice in conversations about issues like homelessness, violence, and sideshows. For many people who showed up, safety was the number one concern. Our Andrea Nakano has more. No, 